Hey Slayers, and welcome to the Ultimate Street Fighter experience, or at least what is in my opinion the Ultimate Street Fighter experience. So this game is Street Fighter 3, which version is this again? Street Fighter 3, Fight for the Future, okay. Oh no, Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, Fight for the Future. It has a whole bunch of names, it goes by a whole bunch of names. There's multiple versions. This right here just happens to be the Dreamcast version, and it happens to be my favorite version of the game. So... The first thing you're going to notice right off the bat, you have arcade mode versus training system. I don't even know what this is. System normal, original. Let's go to normal, original. Okay, I understand. So you have replay and options. So I guess you can get a replay of battles you have versus this is just, you know, your normal multiplayer. But you have guys like Scene. She's not really new. Well, he was really weird. Uh, you know, you just have all these characters. Some I'm not really familiar with, but you know, I I'm more familiar with the normal, um, the normal. Oh, Dudley makes his appearance in this game, right? Is this his first time? No, I didn't pick him. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, dude, this game suffers. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so I completely forgot that this game suffers from that type of stigma, arcade stigma where if you don't pick your character fast enough, it'll automatically select for you. And I despise that, like, so much. I hate that so much. I hate when games do that. But we're, we're, we're definitely picking the Kuma. We gotta be overpowered here. Uh, we'll go this way. We'll go to Hong Kong first. Yeah, but, like, this game right here, if you play Street Fighter 2, if I'm really being honest, if you play Street Fighter 1, you played this game. But man, the graphics in this game are just beautiful. So this game has straight up, I'm just, this game straight up has the arcade graphics through and through. It looks beautiful. It put, this plays just like, you know, if you played any Street, like, like you always say, if you played any Street Fighter, you played this game. That's really just how Street Fighter as a whole goes. If you played even one in the series, you played them all. But man, this game, the combination of music, beautiful graphics, although, the one thing I do, I, I do have, when it comes to, like, the graphics, I do have one little complaint, but it, it's kind of, it's a really small one. I just think the characters are a little bit small, especially for Dreamcast era, when we were seeing games like, from Capcom themselves, we were seeing games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and, um, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, and all that, and the characters were absolutely oh, huge in that, in that, in those games, but in this game, they're a little bit small, at least to, even compared to like the Saturn games. The, they're a little bit small in here for me, which is just, you know, a little gripe I have. You know, you might not care, you might not even. But I really, I've always been the type of kid guy who likes big characters in fighting games. I just, I think they look so much more appealing and better. But like I said, this is your classic Street Fighter gameplay here. It doesn't get any better than this, you know. Especially if you pick a firing character, you just, you know, you spam the Hadouken. Yeah, don't play. I I don't get to play Street Fighter with Martian because he 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 can play. I only spam just a spam Hadouken, which I'm not gonna lie, I do. But I do that in all fighting games. I just spam the easiest move and just go on from there. For the longest time, right? I'm not I'm not afraid to admit this. For the longest time, I couldn't even do the Sonic Boom. For a lot of these moves, I couldn't even do. Like when I used to play Street Fighter, like when I was way younger, I couldn't do half of the moves. So I would always just play the game and try my hardest to get through with only heavy punching, which was as hard as it sounds. But see, now I know all the moves, so you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, now now I'm the best at Street Fighter and no one ever wants to play with me because I'm just, I'm just, I'm spam worthy, I guess you can say. How dare you? Oh, come on, dude. Some of these new characters I don't particularly like, and then some, some I do love, and some would actually return later on, while others would kind of be left here in the dark for this version of Street Fighter 3. Just like Street Fighter 2, this game had like a million different versions, and this in itself is a different version from the original Street Fighter, but I just happen to prefer this version the most, like I said. I just, I really love how the characters, even, even though they are small, at least in my opinion, they're small. The graphics, and you know, you can always count on Capcom to make a good title for the Sega Dreamcast. As far as prices go, this one actually, from what I could see, from when I see pictures at face value, but where I saw, like I only, like I said, out in the past, when I look for prices for games, I'm only looking like the two, probably two main stores I shop the most, which would be um, eBay and Amazon. 
which is really just where I'll shop the most when it comes to retro gaming software. I might go to other stores every once in a while, like JJ Games, but really that's about it when it comes to retro stuff. So I usually just check those two places for prices, and at least from what I saw, like like at the start for a box, especially if you want a box and box copy, they prices were pretty expensive. I saw some anywhere from fifties to a hundred. But you know, you might be able if you lock up on a loose copy cheap. I definitely recommend you pick this one up. This is just a classic Street Fighter title. It's just as good as like I said, Street Fighter Two or any other Street Fighter you prefer. I always, for me, prefer the later Street Fighter titles than I did even like Street Fighter Two. Don't get me wrong, I love Street Fighter Two. It's an absolute classic. I mean, I am a Sega fan after all. And I'm actually gonna. Am I gonna lose? I lost. Yeah, you you didn't see that, okay? That didn't happen. Listen, that that didn't happen, okay? That that didn't happen. Also, wait a second. Some characters are missing. We are missing characters, right? Here we are. Okay, so guys, there's also characters missing. Like, where's Sagat? Where's Gum? What's his name? We're missing some characters. At least for my liking. I'm gonna choose Ibuki now. We're missing some characters. Yeah, also, I really do not like the design of him in this game. I don't like it at all. You know, this is your normal, you know, the, I never could remember his name, the stretchy guy. But I do not like his design in this game. He looks, he, he looks very visually unappealing, at least to me. So you might like the way he looks in this game, but I really do not like the way he looks or plays. Especially considering he doesn't play like he used to play and that's just a big turn off for me but in the gameplay section he just feels totally different and i really do not like that about him but then you know that's a, just like i said just my nitpick if i had to if i had to give this game an actual rating it's a 10 out of 10 like this is capcom we're talking about capcom and i don't know about you but some people think Capcom and Nintendo were made a uh, match made in heaven. Me personally, I see Sega and, and Sega and Capcom just a perfect match made in heaven. And that's a little bit me being biased, but even then, a lot me being unbiased. Just if you go back and look at some of the classic titles, Capcom later on they more so liked to do, they more so wanted to embrace the Sega systems at the like end of at the end closer to the end. Like I'm talking like you know. Sega Sat they started to get more and more than like the Sega Saturn era and that was just that and that's just to me I'm gonna pick uh yeah. But yeah, that to me just makes that just me it is a little bit unfair, at least to my at least in my opinion, about how Capcom kinda started to embrace I mean they they were there on the Sega Genesis, but they just weren't like there there to where it's like, like, another one of those companies that really did not try to embrace Sega at all was Konami. They they kind of just went... It's like a lot of companies, whereas, like, Capcom, whereas Konami, they kind of ditched Nintendo and then immediately went PlayStation. So, uh, Capcom was the other way around. They While they did develop for games for PlayStation, they kind of ditched Nintendo and went Sega. And that's what I really like about Capcom. They, they produced some quality. They were one of our biggest supporters when it came to, like, the Sega Saturn. And even the um, Sega Dreamcast, like I said. They released multiple quality fighters on both systems, and this is just another one in their arsenal of ultimate quality titles. So I definitely recommend you go out and play this. And to me, this is the best. This is the best Street Fighter game of all time. I just I really like this one. It just really plays fun. Remember, remember, kids. If you're in, if you are not spamming the Hadouken slash Shuriken, you're not you're not you're not winning. As uh, if you're not cheating, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Okay. Remember, remember, how to annoy your siblings slash friends 101. Just spam the same move over and over again in a fighting game. Do, don't, don't do that. You will not have anyone to play with anymore. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Don't, don't, don't follow my advice, please. You will not, you will never have anyone to play with. Because people, they will not play fighting games with you if you spam the same move. Especially if they're bad at the game. That's just a little hint. <coughs> <coughs> Martian. If you guys would like to see me and Martian play Street Fighter together ever, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Uh, we will totally do that collaboration video. And by we will totally do that collaboration video, I mean I will bug him to death until he does that collaboration video with me, so you guys can get the ultimate enjoyment of him getting upset about me spamming the same move over and over again. <laughs> but 
that's gonna do it for this video. I've been the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. If you're new here, if you could subscribe and like the video and even share it with your friends, that would be awesome. Still trying to hit 200 subscribers before the end of the year. But until next time, have a good one, Slayers. Thank you.